Good morning, Ospreys. You're watching The Early Bird live on Spinnaker TV. We are in the student union today. I'm Nicole Laura. And I'm Ashley Pinkett. And today we're going to talk about some more charity events with the theme of our week. And we're also going to fill you in on campus events going on here and off campus, actually. It's just right here, right <laughs> now, on The Early Bird. It worked. annual Great American Jazz Series is here. It features performances from Miles Smiles, Wallace Roney, and Ralph Armstrong. Tickets cost between $8 and $35, and the concert raises money for UNF's Music Scholarship Fund. I don't know if you knew this, Nicole, but I used to play a lot of instruments. I did not know that. <laughs> what did you play, Ashley? I played clarinet and I played tenor saxophone. Okay. Well, I know you can sing very well. Yeah, I did that too. You it's can. Fun. You have a very nice, it's lovely fun. voice. Thank you so much. But it's <laughs> jazz. I've never gone to a jazz concert. Oh, it's so no. much fun. The music is a lot more fun, I think, than like a classical. Really? Yeah. It's just more upbeat. It's fun and it's just kind of bluesy. I, it's a great event. Is there any type of like dances that goes with it or? Probably not. Probably but not, no. No. more just relaxing, sit yeah. back. Yeah, sit back, have a cup of joe, hang out. That's usually what mm. you do at jazz concerts. Sounds very, very nice. Yes. <laughs> Jacksonville's Chamber Theater Productions presents Encore tonight, or today at 10.30 till noon in the Lazar Theater. The five stories from the collection will highlight great authors such as Edgar Allan Poe, Washington Irving, and Mark Twain. Timeless classics like The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and The Monkey's Paw are among the choices. I've never seen either of those, but I know you have. Yes, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. And that's very famous, I think, just across the world, really. Yes, it's, it's a story. It was a movie, and now it's a TV series. It's like booming. It's like the new vampire. It so kind of sounds like it. Yeah, but they're I catching on to this trend. That's smart. It sounds very good. <laughs> what is it about? Do you know? The Legend of Sleepy yeah, Hollow. Yeah, can you just fill me in and all of that. Okay, that's what yeah, I thought. It, that, that's The Legend hmm. of Sleepy Hollow. I don't know. I'm very yeah, interested. It's really good. I don't know, it could be a fun event to go to. It could be. It yeah. sounds like a very nice event. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to remind you once again that spring registration is happening right now. Make sure you sign up during your time tickets so you can have all your classes with your besties. <laughs> I know, I signed up yesterday and I was so thankful. I, this is the first year I've gotten every class I wanted to on the first try. Very and lucky. I, I think it's because I'm a senior and that freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> See, I had it a little bit opposite. I feel like when I was a freshman, even though I signed up later than all the older classmen, I got every class I wanted. Really? <laughs> and now this year, I was only able to sign up for one class due to department holds on certain oh. classes and whatnot. So You can only have one or the other. You get it good the first few years or and bad not, the second or not. So. so I'm hoping that at some point I will get in those classes. and You, know. you will with drop ad and whenever all that gets released, you'll be fine. Hopefully. Don't worry about it. Yes. Hopefully, you know. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh. Well, if you haven't noticed, it's extremely sunny today, yes. but it's also still a little bit cold and breezy, but will it last? Yes, we will check in with Lindsay to see what she says of the early bird weather report. Ospreys, Lindsay Kilbride here with your early bird weather report. Yesterday we had very cold temperatures, but is today going to mimic that? Mm, kind of, but not so much. It's going to be a high of 65 degrees, so it's going to be a little bit warmer, almost 10 degrees warmer, but it's going to be a lot less windy, so that's going to be a major thing that's going to make it feel a little bit warmer. So people going to later classes, you might want to prepare with an umbrella. It's a 20% chance of showers between noon and 3 p.m. So I guess that's what you guys get for being able to sleep in. Uh, tonight's going to be low of 56 degrees, so a little chilly tonight. Uh, see right here. Um, so whether you're, um, so what about tomorrow? Let's get to that three-day forecast. Alrighty, so today, like I said, partly sunny, high of 65 degrees. Tomorrow, it's going to be a high of 71 degrees, a little warmer, 30% chance of rain. Saturday, a lot warmer, 75 degrees, but it's going to be a 50% chance of rain. So, not exactly a beach day tomorrow. Now, although, um, okay, so whether you're dressing for the UNF soccer game or the Jaguar game, this weekend is important. It is important to be prepared for all weather conditions. Now, although these great blanket suits are advertised as sports event friendly, I have some better ideas to prepare you for a game. 
So I recommend bringing a bag. So always verify that the bag fits within the regulations of the sports complex because they will make you go back to your car with it. Um, now always bring a sweater, especially right now with the weather changing because it could be really cold and then really hot when the sun comes out and you know, it's always good to transition. So always bring, um, also always bring a poncho, like one right here, just in case it rains. And then always bring sunglasses, just in case the sun gets in your eyes. And of course, like I always say, bring SPF because those UV rays are there no matter what the temperature is outside. So that's all I got for you guys today. Back to you, Ashley and um, Nicole. Thank you so much, Lindsay. What great advice. It really is. It really is. You don't think that those rays are going to affect you, but they really do. I've gotten a sunburn in the winter at a Dallas yes. game once. And especially if you're wearing the sunglasses, you don't want oh. raccoon eyes. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Coming up, we're going to be sharing info about what charities do great for the Jacksonville community. Keep it here, Oscars. Separate raw meats from other foods by using different cutting boards. 3,000 Americans will die from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. Yes, welcome back to the Early Bird. We're live on Spinnaker TV. And with the holidays right around the corner and the, spe and the special food-themed week coming <laughs> up, we're going to talk about some charities that help give back. Yes, we are. <laughs> First, Girls Inc. is an organization dedicated to inspire all girls to be strong, smart, and bold. Their mission is to have each girl reach her highest potential in every aspect of her life. Their after-school program helps girls promote social and personal growth. And it just so happens that it is Girls Inc., the Jacksonville branch, is the UNF Greek Women's Philanthropy Group. So is it just for one specific sorority or is it for all of it? Uh, no, actually, it is the Greek community as a whole, like Panhellenic as a whole. All five chapters are part of it, and um, this is their philanthropy that they work towards. They volunteer at all the time oh, and just do cool. different events to really just inspire their girls. And okay. Keep them can really non-Greeks get involved? Yes, or? they can. Okay. That's one thing about it. That's why I kind of wanted to share it with everybody. They're always looking for volunteers at their after-school program and just to hang out with the girls, you know, maybe do some drawing or put on a play for them and you don't have to be a part of the Greek community to do this. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, it's something just a little cute and helps out the girls. Yeah. yeah. Linda Wing Pantry allows students to get food and hygiene products for free. Unfortunately, there's a shortage of goods right now, so if you have anything you can donate, please bring them to Linda Wing and Help Campus Charity that is going to be in the Volunteer Center. Now, I know I have a few things that I can donate. I have some shoes and stuff like that, maybe some even canned goods and stuff. So hopefully if I drop that off, it'll help somebody on campus. I think everybody probably has that stuff that you don't use anymore that could honestly, you know, everybody's garbage is someone's treasure. Especially you canned can, goods. Exactly. I Everyone, have a lot of that I don't even eat. Like I have so many canned beans, I'm just like, oh, I don't even yeah, eat So it. why not donate <laughs> it to someone who really needs it? And the cool thing about this is that it is on campus and we could be helping out someone that's sitting right next to us in class, but you never know because you can't judge a person just by you yeah. know, their appearance. That's so. something nice I'd just to help your Greek, your UNF <laughs> community, I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. I love it. <laughs> the Dory Slawsberg Foundation is a road safety foundation in the state of Florida that focuses on keeping citizens safe on the roadways. The foundation happens to be making a special visit to UNF today for their safety fair, and all students and faculty are welcome. The event will be held in Student Union between 10 and 2. Various guest speakers will be in attendance, and free giveaways, including bike helmets, are also on the list of fun. And I know you had a scary encounter <laughs> with a car on your bike. I did. I was hit by a car on my bike. So make sure. I know a lot of students bike around campus, and it's extremely important to yes. just wait, get off whenever you're at a crosswalk and walk it across. Because if you get hit, that is technically your fault. It is your if fault. If you're on the bike, and you'll have a sixty dollars ticket. Sixty dollars ticket. <laughs> that is terrible. I have to pay that. But no, it's so. really. I feel like um, you know. I was looking up different charities and uh, events going on in Jacksonville that I wanted to focus on, and I happened to found, 
find this one. And I thought it would be great to talk about because it is such an issue in Florida with yes. bikes on the roadways and people are constantly getting hit and accidents are happening. And then to find out that they were actually coming here to campus to talk about the awareness of it and just spread safety tips and even give out helmets. So yeah. I thought it was a great event. I it is, especially at UNF. So many people mm -hmm. ride their bikes. I know people who park at Publix and they ride their bike every day into, into mm -hmm. class. So every day. Yeah, yeah, it's a great idea. It is. Well, grab that cup of hot chocolate or tea and stick with us. Patrick, Patrick Kavanaugh <laughs> has the down and dirty with us. I'm so excited. <laughs> we'll be right back, <laughs> <So> Ospreys. <laughs> So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. Welcome back. Now we're ready for all the action. It's time for the Early Bird Sports Report. With Patrick Cavanaugh, so take it away. Good morning, Ospreys. This is Patrick Cavanaugh with your Down and Dirty Sports Report. We have a lot of interesting news of the sports variety today, so without wasting any more time, let's get started. Let's talk about men's basketball and how they lost against Middle Tennessee State yesterday with a score of 77 to 70. Now let's talk about the game against Florida this past Friday. They lost that too. However, Florida's basketball team is ranked number 10, and the Ospreys only lost by eight points. We should have a very exciting season to look forward to. Bo Beach seems to have his head in the game as he put up 16 points, including five three-pointers. Now basketball season has finally started. The Ospreys will have their first home game debut this Saturday against Southern University at 7 o'clock p.m. in the UNF Arena. So get out there, go tailgating, get excited because just coming off a win this past week and doing so well against Florida, it should be a great game. Now let's move on to men's soccer, where three members of the team earned 2013 Atlantic Sun honors, which were announced by the conference on Tuesday. Sophomore Alex Morell was named to the All-Atlantic All Sun second team due to the fact that he has recorded two goals for the year. He also led the Ospreys in assists with four and finished second on the team with eight points. Freshman Jay Bolt and Nicholas Schusler were named to the All-Atlantic Sun freshman team. So let's talk about some of the things these freshmen accomplished to earn them these honors. Bolt helped the team get four shutouts this season. In addition, he played in 13 matches and started in 12 of those matches to lead all of UNF freshmen in minutes played. Now on to Nicholas, who played in 14 matches and started in 13 of them at midfield. He also finished the season with six shots, including three on goal. The UNF men's soccer team is currently seated fifth. After a 1-0 round, first round win over Mercer yesterday, they will play the tournament's top seed and host school Florida Gulf Coast on Friday at 7 o'clock p.m. Well, guys, that's all the sports news I have. So once again, this is Patrick Cavanaugh, hoping all of you have a great Thursday, saying farewell from right here in the Student Union. Back to you, Nicole and Ashley. Thank you so much, Patrick. And we will be, please, please, please go to the soccer game this weekend yes. to support our other anchor, Grady Trimble. Yes, he's very awesome, so you should go support him. But coming up, we're going to have the Vine of the Day, so stick with us. Welcome to my block party. Glad you can make it. The only triple doubles you get come with fries. Last time you blocked someone, you were online. I can do this all day. Your moves are just gay. 
Using gay to mean dumb or stupid, not cool. Not cool. Not in my house, not anywhere. It's not creative, it's offensive to gay people. And you're better than that. Welcome back, Ospreys. Thank you again so much for tuning in to The Early Bird this morning. Don't forget to also tune in to Spinnaker TV for the news tonight at 5 p.m. And don't forget to tweet us at our Twitter handle, at UNF Early Bird. And also make sure to like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash UNF Early Bird. And now it's our Vine of the Day. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> he gets so into it. that guy he sounds like fun. he gets into it you know our games need to be like that I agree. we just show support for the Ospreys we'll invite him over and he'll yes. get us all really he'll get us all <laughs> <laughs> have a great weekend Ospreys